Tractor and Machinery channel. This episode we travel down to Colac for the Colac Vintage Tractor Pool for 2012. There will be six classes of tractors operating this weekend here at Colac. Without any further ado, let's cross trackside where we pick up action in the under 25 horsepower class. On the screen is Tony Field in the Little David Brown in the under 25 horsepower class. A very, very big field of tractors in this particular class here at Colac this weekend. And we see what Tony Field can do in his little David Brown. Just starting to struggle a little bit now. A little bit of wheel spin there from uh, the little David Brown. But uh, probably run about three quarter track distance. And a pretty respectable pull from Tony Field in the David Brown. This is Russell Beach in the International. Having a reasonably good run here at Colac. And just starting to put the power on now is uh, Russell Beach. David Bartlett in his N model Fordson having a fairly respectable run and uh, really enjoying himself out there is Dave Bartlett in the uh, N model Fordson. Here you see Paul Harrison in his McCormick gearing really battling some uh, gusty windy conditions here at Colac as you see the uh, dust getting blown across from left to right of the screen as it's quite uh, difficult to uh, manoeuvre but uh, Paul Harrison doing a fairly good job in the McCormack gearing. Here we have Tom McCann in Little International doing a very good job in these windy blusty conditions mainly doing a great job keeping a big black hat of his on his head in these very very windy conditions here at Colac. This is Frank Waters and he's beautifully restored David Brown the Selectomatic 880. And it's credit to um, Frank because he's having a reasonably good pull here at Colac this weekend and the tractors have finally turned out. Frank will go on and have a very good strong pull in the David Brown Selectomatic. Here we have young Nick Bartlett in their Fordson E27N, the petrol Kero. Good to see some of the younger folk uh, out in these vintage tractors uh, competing. You can see young Nick's uh, left hand on the gear stick just to try and prevent this tractor from jumping out of gear. Robert Gardner in another Fordson E27N petrol Kero. And it's good to see a lot of these Fordsons out competing here at Colac this weekend. On screen at the moment is one of the regulars in vintage tractor pulling here in Victoria. And that's Terry Nicholson Sr. in the Fordson E27. And the petrol car beautifully turned out the tractor of Terry Nicholson Sr. And um, there's a good collection of um, tractors from the Nicholson family. As we see a reasonably good job being put in by your Terry in this particular Fordson and he'll go on to have a reasonably good pull from Terry Nicholson Sr. in the Fordson Major E27N Petrol Caro. Another Nicholson on the screen and this is Terry Nicholson Jr. son of uh, Terry Nicholson Sr. And it's a Terry in another Fordson E27N Petrol Caro. So what Terry can do, splutting a little bit, so still have a little bit of uh, mechanical problems in this E27N. Terry's trying to work those front wheels, trying to get that track a little bit more traction. But I think that might be it for Terry. He's really starting to struggle now as the wind gusts across the track here at Colac. And that could be it for Terry Nicholson Jr. This is Russell Bagel Hole in the Fortson. E27 and the petrol Caro and this is a very very strong pulling tractor from Russell Bagel Hole and you can actually see those uh, rear large rear tyres that really gives this tractor some real good pulling qualities and Russell will actually go on and win the under 25 horsepower class here at Colac and also will, will compete in the under 35 horsepower class as well. Russell Bagel Hole in the major. Going on to execute a full pull here this weekend at Colac. Here's another one of our younger members in the vintage tractor pulling here in Victoria and this is Sam Coles in the Nuffield, the petrol, the M4 and Sam goes on to have a very respectable run in this particular Nuffield petrol. Here we have Rod Gardner in the field marshal, the nicely turned out tractor is this uh, field marshal of uh, Ron Gardner's and uh, Ron will go on and have a very very strong pull here this weekend at Colac in the field marshal. Here we have Robert Gardner. Robert's uh, driving the uh, the International McCormack, the W6, 
Robert, we saw him previous in the uh, the Ports of E27N, but uh, now it's uh, Robert Gardner in the International of the McCormack. Beautifully turned out tractor from uh, Rod Gardner, and Robert Gardner will go and have a reasonably good pull in the International McCormack here at the Colac this weekend. Next we have Daryl Wintool from Curranborough. And Darrell's driving the uh, the Fords and E27N, the petrol caro. This is a borrowed tractor. I think it comes from Horsham, and the tractor. Darrell uh, hails from Curranborough. And it's down in Gippsland, Victoria's Gippsland region. And Darrell is also uh, the president of the Fordson Club of Australia. So we'll see what Darrell can do in this particular E27N, the petrol caro. And he's probably travelled about half track distances at Darrell Rintoul and uh, started to bounce up in that seat. Darrell trying to give those back tyres a little bit more traction. Trying to get a few more inches out of this particular tractor. And we'll see what Darrell can do. He's just about at the end of his tether now. Here we have Tom McCann in another international. Tom's a real uh, international stalwart. And the wind once again soon as Tom comes out on the track with that big black hat of his. The wind really starts to kick up and gust around. So Tom's got two trouble problems he's got the, tr the sled and his big black hat but he's doing a reasonably good job in the international here we have Ron Gardner in the Lance Bulldog Ron is pulling in the under 35 horsepower class here today and uh, a reasonably good job starting to struggle now see the exhaust smoke uh, really starting to bellow on Ron Gardner's Lance Bulldog here we have an international tractor sporting wheel weight so uh, should be assisted with some reasonably good grip as he's travelled about uh, half track distance not really setting the wall on fire with pace but a good strong pull from the international a little bit of protection from the uh, coal and inclement weather with the cabin configuration on the international starting to struggle now a little bit of wheel spin and that's it for the international here we see John Hall and his beautiful, beautifully presented Lance Bulldog doing a pretty good job a very good strong pull from uh, John Hall in the under 35 horsepower class and John will go on and have an extremely strong pull in his Lance Bulldog. Another Lance Bulldog on screen, that's uh, Rob Heretic in his little uh, Bulldog, the under 35 horsepower class. The original paint job uh, on this particular tractor of uh, Rob's. Here we have Ron Gardner in the International McCormack. Ron's been a busy boy this weekend, uh, driving a few tractors here at this particular vintage tractor pull and doing a reasonable good job wheel weights in the back of that uh, International, giving it a little bit of assistance with grip. Here we have Owen Smith in the Nuffield, doing a reasonably good job here at uh, Colac this weekend. There's Owen Smith aboard his Nuffield. And this is a reasonably strong pull. You can see a lot of blowing, a lot of smoke as uh, Owen in the Nuffield as he strains the old. Uh, Narfield as it's going up towards the end of the run now and this could be a pretty good pull as you can see smoke billowing from the exhaust pipe here on the Narfield tractor of Owen Smith and looks like Owen's going to go on and really starting to struggle now wheel spin and that's it for Owen. This is the under 40 horsepower class and we have another Narfield on track at the moment that's a 1956 Narfield of Robert Gardner. Robert's been pretty busy this weekend too driving uh, a few tractors here at Colac and it uh, looks like Robert's going on to have a fairly strong pull in this particular under 40 horsepower class in his 1956 Nuffield blowing a little bit of smoke struggling a little bit but uh, it's a very strong track to this Nuffield of uh, Gardner's and looks like he's going to go on and enjoy a very very good pull here this weekend at Colac at the Nuffield. Here comes Terry Mickelson plenty of smoke coming from the P60 E27 in Perkins power tractor of Terry Mickelson from Willert. Always plenty of action when Terry's on the track. You see his left foot there on that gear stick to stop this tractor jumping out of gear. He's travelled about half track distance now, just working that steering wheel, trying to give that tractor a little bit more uh, traction. Smoke bowling from the exhaust stack. We'll see what Terry Mickelson can do aboard his P6. Always has a very good pull at these vintage tractor pulls. Just checking to see if everything's running square. Now he's in a little bit of trouble now. Tractor starting to struggle now, and I think that might be it for Terry Nicholson in the Fordson P6. A wise move from organisers this weekend. They've reversed the track after the lunch break, so we're going in the opposite direction now. And the heavens have opened up, and it's pelting down here at Colac. Wheel spin there for Gavin Reynolds in the International. That's it for Gavin. Rodney Hall is next in the International AW9. We'll see what Rod Hall can do under these atrocious conditions now as the rain is really pelting down here at Colac. Things have really changed dramatically as we see Rodney Hall aboard the International AW9. The Australian built AW9 built down there in Geelong. 
He's travelled about three-quarter track distance now and the rain is really pelting down. A little bit of wheel spin from uh, Rodney Hall. I think that tractor might be just breaking through that wet surface into the dry part of the track and giving it a little bit more traction. But still the back uh, treads are really uh, gumming up with mud. You can see the, um, the funny angle of those front steering wheels really not having much effect on the steering of the tractor. So it's a credit to Rodney. He's still got the AW9 uh, tracking fairly square. He's travelled about three-quarter track distance in these are just wet conditions and he's doing a reasonably good job and that's it now for Rodney Hall. Here we have local Colac boy Mark Billing in his fit. We'll see what Mark can do uh, in the field. Uh, Mark's got uh, a lot more comfort than the other drivers that have been sitting out in the open. Mark with the enclosed cabin uh, in these inclement uh, weather conditions here at uh, Colac is probably a handy asset to have aboard his tractor. At the moment, Mark's travelled about three quarters, half to three quarter track distance in uh, in the Fiat in these wet, trying conditions, and the Fiat really not struggling too much. It's it's, it's doing a fairly good, fairly strong job in these uh, wet conditions. Rain just starting to come down a little bit heavier now, and local Colo boy Mark Billing will be quite happy with his uh, effort. Here we have a tractor that should be right at home in these conditions, and that's the Ford County 4x4 wet conditions should really uh, suit this tractor here this weekend at Colac with the track uh, still uh, very very greasy even though the rain has eased off a fraction it's probably not as bad as uh, what it has been for the uh, previous tractors but still uh, doing a reasonably good job and doesn't seem to be struggling at all is the Ford County 4x4 down here at Colac on this wet greasy and windy weekend as the uh, Ford uh, County continues it doesn't seem to be struggling at all so it should go on and have a reasonably good pull here at Colac. Here we have the Australian Book Chamberlain on the screen at the moment, just starting to struggle. A little bit of wheel spin there, and that's it for the uh, for the chamber. Another under 45 horsepower tractor. That's the 9G of Ron Gardner, and uh, Ron's got a little bit of protection there uh, with the canopies over this uh, Chamberlain 9G, the Australian Book Chamberlain and they're doing a pretty good job as Ron in these uh, wet and greasing conditions in this cha Chamberlain 9G heading up towards and probably be a full pull too for the Chamberlain so I think Ron would be very very happy with his effort in his Chamberlain 9G this is an interesting tractor on the screen at the moment it's a case and this was uh, for many many years uh, we worked on the dock stand in Melbourne the port of Melbourne owned it and it was um, just towing things around the docking area of Melbourne uh, for many years and uh, we see John in it this weekend at Colac, wet conditions uh, still but uh, John is uh, stooped over there probably trying to get out a bit of the rain I'll tell you what this is a very very good strong uh, swift pull from the case and I think John will be pretty happy the way the case is going at the moment heading up towards the end of the track and looks like John's going to uh, record a full pull in the case here this weekend on screen we have Bob Pierce in the under 60 horsepower class. Bob's aboard the Ford and we'll see what Bob can do as the conditions are still haven't improved that much. The uh, Ford's doing a pretty good job uh, with Bob Pierce at the helm. He's travelled about half track distance now and uh, things are still wet and greasy but I'll tell you what Bob Pierce is going to be pretty happy the way the Ford is going as he's heading up towards and this could be a pretty good pull from Bob Pierce in the Ford. Heavy conditions greet the David Brown at the moment and Things aren't looking very good weather-wise as the uh, rain is continuously pelting down. But that David Brown, that's Doug driving the, uh, the David Brown, is doing a very, very good job handling these very, very difficult uh, weather conditions. As you can see, the track is still very, very greasy. But the uh, the David Brown has uh, really got some good grip there and heads on for a full pull. So a good one for the David Brown. Another David Brown on screen at the moment. See what this particular David, that's a 1210 David Brown, and that uh, David Brown too will also go on and uh, experience a full pull here at Colac. The pace of this this uh, David Brown uh, compared to the previous, a little bit slower, but uh, still is going to go on and uh, make a very, very good pull, and also go on and have a full pull in some very, very difficult conditions here at Colac. This is the sort of truck you want in these particular conditions. This is the Chamberlain 306. And uh, the rain is still pelting down. The track is getting wetter and wetter. Very greasy. The wheel weights on the back of the Chamberlain is certainly going to assist to try and break through the top greasy layer of mud into the drier surface beneath. 
And we'll see what sort of pull the, uh, the Chamberlain can do. I think Tom's at the will of the Chamberlain. He's all nice and snug in there and we'll have a good pull. As these wet conditions continue, another Chamberlain driver will stay dry as he's heading up towards the end of the pool. This could be going through for a full pool. This is uh, tracking very nicely. Wheel weights on the back, so a uh, good grip from this Australian-built Chamberlain. And it looks like the uh, the Chamberlain's going to go on and record a very, very good, strong full pool here today at Colac in some very, very trying conditions. Here we have Tommy McCann in the International 766 in the open class of tractor and conditions are, are quite atrocious and uh, Tom certainly get a bit of a saturation sitting up there in the International, uh, still motoring but you can see a lot of wheel spin, the big International having a little bit of trouble with grip as wheel weights on the back and uh, now it's, uh, it's picked up a little bit probably just breaking through that greasy top surface and the weight of the big uh, 766 uh, just uh, breaking through the surface still motoring but uh, not really Tom's really got to uh, play with that throttle as we see the uh, he's probably going about quarter track distance and that's it for Tom McCann in the 766 we'll see what the big Australian built Chamberlain can do in these uh, very wet conditions here at the uh, Colac this is the un this is the open class actually of uh, tractor and it's really sort of ploughing through that. It's so, see those front wheels, not, not very much steering at all on the big Chamberlain as it's probably travelled about half track distance. Still uh, chopping up that surface and I think that might be where it's going to go and that's it for the Chamberlain. Here we have uh, Alan Reeve in the Super 90, the big Chamberlain Super 90 in the open class of tractor. We'll see what Alan can do as he's getting a, a nice old drenching sitting up there as the rain continues to uh, pelt down in these atrocious conditions now here down at Colac. And it's a credit to some of these drivers and their tractors and we'll see what Alan Reeve can do in the big Super 90. Um, so it's really, it's travelling quite nicely at the moment. Not a great deal of wheel spin uh, in these very, very slippery conditions. Alan Reeves travelled probably about half track distance at the moment in the big Super 90 and uh, we'll see what Alan can do and uh, he's doing quite well at the moment probably uh, he's gone uh, the furthest of any of the big uh, open class tractors now getting a little bit of wheel spin you can see those rear tyres breaking through the greasy surface into the dry underlayer here at Colac so uh, the weight of the big Super 90 might be to its advantage and uh, it looks like it's got the momentum now and uh, Alan Reeve could be going on to have a very very good pull if not even a full pull in these trying conditions this weekend down here at Colac. It's still motoring very strongly indeed not setting the world on fire with its pace but nice and steady and looks like it's going to be a good pull from Alan Reeve in the Super 90. On screen is another Australian milk Chamberlain this is the uh, Chamberlain Super 70 and in these trying conditions this uh, weekend down to Colac, this uh, Super 70 doing a pretty good job, a very, very limited wheel spin. I would say the uh, Super 70 is probably breaking through the greasy layer of surface into the dry layer underneath and getting reasonably good traction as it's uh, going on, probably about half track distance now, showing good pace in the Super 70. Looks like could go on for a full pull here at Colac. As the tractor pulling action draws to a close down here at Colac for this weekend, we hope you've enjoyed all the vintage tractor pulling action. So until next time, I'm Peter Shea, and it's goodbye from a very wet Colac vintage tractor pull.